What's going on? It's Samantha from 40 Acres of Clueless, the channel where we figure things out one project at a time. And today what we're going to be figuring out is if my new power station of the Blue Eddy AC70 has enough juice to run many commonplace corded tools that you would need to use to complete an off-grid project. Let's face it, when you have a circular saw or a sander or some other tool that is already a corded tool, you really don't want to have to go out and buy a cordless version of a tool that you already own. And that's why I'm really interested to see if this power station that outputs a thousand watts is going to have enough juice to run these commonplace tools. So today, we're gonna find out. So let's start with some technical specs. The Bluetti AC70 weighs 21.4 pounds and has 1,000 watts of continuous output with a 1,000 watt AC inverter. The Bluetti AC70 is a 1,000 watt power station. It has 768 watt hours of power and it has a 1,000 watt continuous load inverter. So this thing is able to draw pretty substantial amounts of power and able to power something that draws a fair amount of power on a continuous basis without erroring out. In order to ensure optimal performance, the management system of this battery is an MPPT MBS controller. And this means that it's gonna have a continuous output and it's going to discharge the power evenly and securely. If you take a look here, you'll notice we've got two 120 volt, 20 amp AC outlets. So these are standard grounded plugs and they have a surge protector of 1400 watts on them which means that if the output exceeds 1400 watts, the surge protector built into the unit is gonna kick in and prevent malfunction of your equipment, which is pretty much an essential feature. And this little thing here, they provide a screw with it. This is a grounding screw. So if you're trying to use this more like a traditional generator, you can ground the unit. That just adds more safety and is an extra protection against potential mistaken accidental electrocution. Nobody wants that. So we're gonna kind of test things from most likely to perform to least likely to perform uh, in terms of uh, most likely to be successful and most likely to fail. So the first thing we're gonna test is the DeWalt electric corded multi-tacker. It says here 120 volts, 60 hertz, 6.4 amps. So turn it on. Should be able to do this. Yep, no problem. No problem there. Yep. Got some staples. Now, next thing I'm going to power here. Gosh, I use this thing all the time. This is my corded Black & Decker jigsaw. Uh, so this is 120 volt, 60 hertz, 5 amps. So I should be able to do this. Let's see. Plug it in right there. Okay. Bring up the display. Oh yeah. It's not even registering right there. It's so light. All right. Well, why don't we try? Cutting a little piece of this board off here. I'd say that works. That's really cool. Next thing we're going to try here is the Skill Orbital Sander. This is 120 volt, 60 hertz, 2.8 amps. So it should be able to operate this no problem. Plug her in. Okay. Okay. All right, 
let's take a look at some of the outputs. Impressive. So I wonder if this is going to be the killer here. I've got, let's see what this is. 120 volt, 15 amp, 60 hertz. This is my corded circular saw. This is going to be the device that's going to draw the most power. Turn that on so that we can see. Well, I've got a light. Oh, my laser's been broken for a long time. Nope. Not gonna run that. See, it's flashing. <sighs> nope. Can't run a skill saw. Can't run the circular saw. I expected that. Oh, but that's all right. I kind of expected that. The uh, circular saws, miter saws, things like that. Those take a lot of juice. Alright. So the next thing we're going to test is... I got 20 volt chargers and two 20 volt batteries. I got a DeWalt and I got a Skill. Take a look at the output screen. All right. Now, let's plug in this one. This one. See, it's full. That's why it's not output. That's all right, that works. Nice. So, what we've learned, this is for some low level power tools, right? In the five amp range, the Blue Eddy power station does a really nice job. For your higher draw tools, right? Like your air compressors, um, Circular saws, miter saws, certainly anything like a table saw or anything like that, it's going to be too much for this power station. But for your low level tools like having a jigsaw or having a sander or a bolt attacker like what we use today, this little power station does a great job. So I'm really impressed with it. I, I think I'd recommend this for uh, people doing some remote jobs. So honestly, if the only thing that you bought this power station for was to be able to have somewhere to plug in your 20 volt and your 40 volt power chargers for your cordless tools, in my opinion, that's worth it just right there. Because when you're working on a remote project, Generally with my tools I've got interchangeable batteries so I can put one onto the charger while I use the other one to finish doing the project and then by the time that I get done with that battery it needs charged, the other one's charged. So this is definitely going to make some appearances on the channel in a remote setting in that way. And even for low level tools, right? Tools that have 5 amps like the jigsaw. Uh, I don't need to worry about getting a cordless jigsaw now. I can just plug it into this and it's going to do just fine. So I'm pretty happy. I wish I would have run my circular saw, but uh, the amount of draw that, that tool has is, is quite a bit. And I definitely anticipated that it was going to uh, fail with the circular saw, which is why that's the last thing I tested. So, so far, so good. Good product. I recommend it. Links below. Check it out. Subscribe before you go. And we'll see you on the next one.